I'm Kenny Watson. I run and operate the cookhouse in Prestatton and we opened in May 2015. Part of that process was um, a significant um, refurbishment. When we took over, our, our vision was to create a family-friendly, food-led um, community pub with bright open spaces. It, it was uh, multifunctional with a, a fantastic outside area, beer garden, heated, covered, and with the external kids' play area. We um, wanted to achieve a British pub meets American diner, but with tips of the hat to press that and in the seaside, and uh, it's worked out pretty well, I think. This year's beer festival at the Cookhouse is August Bank Holiday Weekend, so it's our, our sort of first um, Cascale um, and Cider uh, Festival. There's a couple of reasons why we put these type of events on. It's adding value to the business and it's giving something back to the community, your regular customers, and obviously to, to drive new revenue streams into the business and to generate new audiences and, 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 and new customers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. The process for organising our beer festival, I suppose would, uh, you have to look at, at it like it's an event. We marketed the event um, as through social media platforms in the first instance. We tried to use various platforms locally as well in terms of newspapers, radio. But the biggest, most successful way of promoting it is through word of mouth and, and by telling people, by telling the customers. It took a lot of time to organise the logistics, um, the training aspects, the set up, the purchasing point of sale, marketing, and then there's the actual delivery, which again, that's obviously probably the most complex part of it. The advice I would give um, is always have a contingency um, and always have a plan if the weather's bad. It's important to generate an atmosphere and to, to create a, a vibe, a buzz. We've made it accessible, a very friendly, balanced festival. Um, it's not too serious. If the kids are happy and they're kept entertained, then their parents are generally happy. The training for us was a big part of it, so um, product knowledge is probably the, probably the main thing and obviously bringing in you know, 15, 20 different products that you maybe have never stopped before. we um, done some in-house training, but we had some support from the brewery as well. It gave us some help on the, the tasting notes and also actually the actual cask itself, preparing it and serving it. I, mean, I think the key to, to, to hosting any event is quality and, and getting it right. The three things that, um, that have made it right for us are, 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 are entertainment, beer and good food and, and, and it's that simple. Uh, the hard part is getting the people to come here. I think with the beer festival, I think it's important the, that you do something different. And for the beer festival, the brewery helped us with a, a soul van serving hot dogs, burgers, candy floss, etc. And, 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 and everyone loved it because it's a little bit different and it's brought a little bit of a seaside feel to it. And, and people are really positive about it. The beer festival is just another, uh, it's just another step in a journey for this pub with a focus always being on quality and service. The beer festival is just the thing for this month and there'll be something else the next month and the month after and that's the, the key to success I think is trying enough things to stumble upon the one that actually works and hopefully there's more than one but, uh, but the beer festival for us is definitely one of the things that's um, worked for us.